All right, we got a tough one here. We're going to calculate the solubility of this uh, compound, BACRO4, barium chromate, in both pure water and in a pre made solution that happens to have a common ion at a certain molarity. So, what we're going to find is that. Uh, the solubility should be less if there's already a common ion. Why? Because we have this equilibrium. And if we already have, so let's, let's write it out. We got BA aqueous and chromate. Now, if we already have an ion over here, it's going to push things left. That's part of uh, equilibrium, right? And so we're gonna have less of this dissolve. And so it's gonna be less soluble. That's what we should see. And so we're gonna calculate and see uh, how things end up. So one thing we need is KSP. So let's pull that up. Okay, it's up. So here we go. We got barium chromate right here. So we're gonna write that. All right, so in a situation like this, anytime we have uh, equilibrium and we have KSP value known, we can solve for the concentrations using an ice table. So we're gonna set up an ice table and we're gonna actually set uh, two at one time. Now, our other situation is we have barium chloride going into Now we get the concentration of this. So the concentration here is this, which means we've got a one-to-one -one here. So our concentration of like uh, ions is that. Now, if we were dealing with chlorine, so, so say we had a sodium chloride situation or something, it actually would be double that. So it would be zero, one, two, zero molar. So be careful if you have a two here, you got to double that. But in this case, we're using this one as our a uh, common ion, and so that will influence our ice table. But as it is, let's start with our ice table. So we got Ba2 plus and CrO4 2 minus. Now you may have one with a two in front, uh, which you gotta make sure you deal with that squared in the expression and also the two S in the table, the ice table. So we got zero and zero, we got I'm going to use S. Okay, if we use, if we set up the one over here, we actually have 0 0.006. So it looks a little different on this side. So let's start with our uh, equilibrium expression on this side, they're actually going to be the same. So KSP equals barium and chromate. Now, careful again, you may have an exponent. We don't in this case. Uh, so I'm going to put this at 1.17 times 10 to the minus 10th equals S times S, which is equal to S squared. So to solve for S, my solubility, I'm going to put uh, the square root of 1.17 to the negative 10. I get 1.08 times 10 to the minus fifth. Now that's a molarity. Now again, let's look for grams per liter. If I'm in the lab, how many grams of this substance can I put into a liter and have it dissolve? Uh, now again, molarity. So we have, if we go back up here, we, we've just found these are both S right up here. And so if we, if we have a one to one to one, so we know the molarity of this is the same. So this is the molarity of barium chromate. And I can multiply that by, so this is moles per liter. I can say every one mole has 253.37 grams. 
and I get 0 0.0027 says two significant digits grams per liter. Okay, so there's one answer. Now let's get now let's finish this one with a common ion. And, and so what we learned in class is that uh, we have this situation where if we put the common the amount of the common ion on top and we divide it by the KSP, if it's greater than 400, we can use this X is small approximation and we have it's much greater than 400. And so what we can do is actually take this out. So that 0 0.006 is so much larger than what S will be that we can, it's orders of magnitude. So significant digit wise, we can just eliminate it. Uh, and this actually makes our math quite a bit easier. We get uh, KSP equals 0 0.006 S. And so we get 1.17. And so S equals 1.95 times 10 to the minus eight. And I can say every one mole, 253.37 grams. And I get 4.94 times 10 to the minus six grams per liter. So much, much smaller. And so that's what we wanted to see, right? We wanted to see that when you have a common ion, the uh, solubility is less. So let's plug these in. This one, I'm gonna go two significant digits. So I'm gonna say 4.9 times 10 to the negative six. There we go. Okay. okay, our gut check that this one here is much smaller proves to be right. And either way, the solubility of these is, is pretty small, right? Can only put in 0 0.002 grams for every one liter of water. Okay, a lot of work, but it's based on equilibrium and this concept of how things can shift back and forth. And then if we have a common ion, it can uh, impact how much it shifts and that the fact that it will shift to the left, right? It favors the reactants when it shifts left. And then that means it's less soluble, right? You'll have less going to the ions and more staying as a solid.